Hello everybody, it is I, Reverso, bringing you the third video in the series of the War of the Conjurer Guild War. Today we're going to talk about the Day 3 Aftermath, but before we get into that, I wanted to talk to you guys about something funny that happened in my town. Well, not probably funny for you guys, but not all that funny for me. Uh, well, basically, to put it bluntly, I was a real idiot. I wanted to move uh, this around. I ended up removing one of my training fields, this one. Uh, and I had to remake it, so that was quite of a waste of money, well, just like 50,000, but uh, in the end it all worked out pretty good. And uh, let's take a look at the Guild War, because that's what we're here for right now, right? Coming in first place, the Death Knights, yeah, of course, and probably for iOS you have the Rainbow Room being in first place. No surprises there whatsoever. We, on the other hand, ended up being in rank 437, which is just mind-blowing, it's amazing, and... Uh, Let's quickly take a look. We had 21 wins and 4 losses and uh, most valuable player, the MVP, is definitely going to be Mike. And I want to congratulate every single member on contributing everything so well and, and just doing well in, uh, in the Guild War. And uh, yeah, unfortunately we said our goodbyes to 4 of our members. Uh, they didn't... Um, really meet up to the quota they were either really inactive or they ended up refusing to add me onto the line chat which basically told me like these guys don't want to be in incognito at least not seriously so unfortunately for them i'm just gonna have to let them go so um i'm actually going to go ahead and crown the guild champion i'm gonna make you a high commander because you actually did pretty awesome as well and mike 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 there you are, Mike. You're going to be our guild champion for the upcoming week. Along with that, we also got a new high commander. And uh, that is going to be Scribbles. Because Scribbles is an awesome person. And um, yeah, with that, we have um, seven slots open, which are actually currently fulfilled. I am going to have to add a few of my friends to the guild. But I'll be doing, the, I'll be doing that after this video. But um, yeah, I'm going to bring out a video today or tomorrow as well as how you can apply as well to join Incognito because right now you guys just ended up adding me to the line chat but there's a couple of things which I wanted to let you guys know before you're going to end up reply, applying to Incognito because you cannot just apply that much anymore because we're just getting too full. I'm getting like 10 applications a day for you guys to join in Incognito which I'm very happy about and just keep on sending the applications because if you leave a good impression, you're definitely going to be one of the people who are going to join in my guild. But of course, unfortunately, I cannot end up inviting everyone. So that's going to be uh, somewhat of an issue. And currently, it's just connecting for a pretty long time. So I don't know what's up with that. And if you guys give me a second, I'll meet you guys back again once it's loading again. So in a second. Alright, and we're back. So I was going to look at the War of the Conjurer results for a little bit more. Because I didn't show everything. Uh, yes, the battles. So, uh, the last battle that we both lost was against the good ones. And I reckon that we left at the Flames of Hope. Which I mispronounced in the last episode. After that, it was just a... Uh, a great day, the also Trasnos, uh, that battle didn't really go other well because there was not a lot of activity. But at the Army of Legends and the uh, the game, the name that I'm not going to try to pronounce because I'll just mess up, the Podex, the Podex Guild, the crew are Podex. I actually think that pronounced it pretty well. Um, at the, um, we, we ended up having Mike and Chris just jamming in like crazy once again because they definitely wanted to get the reward. The arm of the world, so I'm going to quickly look into my inventory because if I look at the top, I already see that the uh, 400k is already deposited on my account. So uh, let's just quickly go to the Fusion Mask to see uh, how this thing is up and running. And um, this looks great. This is amazing. I'm very, very pleased with the arm of the wolf. Um, so that's pretty awesome and um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, it's so tempting, it is so, so tempting to uh, do a little fusion here and there and you know what, how about we do the Drake Plate Mail and the Worm Shroud Mantle. Sounds like a good idea, right? Fusing it off today in this episode. The Worm Shroud Mantle, which I recently had obtained. 
And wow, I have a lot of armors. I didn't realize. Come on, come on, come on. There. No, that's armor of the wolf. I want to save you. I cannot e I even fuse you if, even if I wanted to. So I cannot really do anything. The worm shroud mantle. And fire element type. Right? Alright, it's equipped. I cannot do that yet. Uh, wow. What a mess up. Uh, da -da -da. There you go. It's unequipped. And this is something I haven't been preparing for. Just let me tell you guys in advance. I haven't been preparing to do this. And wow, I need to fuse all of this. Worm Sharp Mantle. Once again, take two. Along with the Fire Element Drake Blade Mill. Man. I'm like pissing my pants right now. I'm so nervous. Okay. Uh, I am going to be so mad if I get something ridiculously stupid. So please, please, let it be something good. In three, two, one, here we go. Let it be an epic. This looks good. What is up? Why do you... What is this? What's this weird fusion? This is like... It's like going up and down and up and down. Oh! Spartan's Gay War Gear! This is good, right? I think this is good. Hold up. Hold up. Give me like one second. I'm gonna level you up. And I'm gonna check how much it's going... You know, I don't even care. Let's just... I got a fusion. I got a fusion boost armor as well. Um... Just give me like one level so I can see how much stat stats is going to give me. I think this is great. <laughs> Seriously? Not, not even one level? That's... Okay. Uh, I'm like pissing my pants right now, guys. I think this is really awesome. I saw like 600 stats. I saw like 600 stats. I think we have a new Epic Legendary on our hands, guys. Okay, level up. What? 14 offense, 14 attack, and 12 defense! <gasps> wow! Wow, this is seriously, I cannot believe that I just got that, guys. I'm just gonna, no, wow, I am stunned. This is, like, seriously the best day in my career of uh, Knights and Dragons, so if you can call it a career, I'm, I'm getting like so excited, I can uh, sorry that my commentary is not very, very it's very nonsensible right now, but uh, yeah, gonna be bringing out, <laughs> that, 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 that. totally lost it guys, uh, yeah, so, so far the, uh, it's been epic, it's just been great, you know, I'm so happy that I'm just going to donate, donate all of my money in here, like 400,000 yeah 400,000 in there like that and um, you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some fusion so um, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna quickly um, combine all of these like one stars like hold up let me just show you I'm gonna quickly do all of these uh, silver stars Put them all into a goal, uh, into a one star, and then I'll meet you guys back once I'm ready to fuse. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, so I'm back right now, and um, I took care of everything. Um, I basically fused everything into my two stars. So right now, let's just jump right into it. I calmed down a little bit. And I'm not sure if I'll be capable of fusing everything away because of lack of money. I currently have like 98,000 only. But let's do this. So I think it was level 16 right now. Level 17, 18. Man, the stats are outrageous. This is without a doubt my, de my best uh, legendary that I'm having right now. It was so worth it to fuse off the two that I just had. Uh, the fire drake armor and the worm shroud mantle definitely not a mistake from my part at all and we're gonna keep on fusing gonna put everything in here and uh, I think that's it for the one stars already okay I think I will actually make it with the money and there we go and here's what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna first put in two two stars and then I'm gonna fuse them together with the Fusion boost armors. 
Level 23, 7 on the attack. Wow, that's just... Okay, and here it comes. The moment I've been waiting for. You guys probably too. How far is this baby gonna go up to? We'll find out in the next episode of... No, let's just fuse this. I'm kidding. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. Oh, man. Level 29. 797 attack and 609 defense. That is almost already topping my Black Force Raymond in terms of attack. That's just crazy. Uh, let me see how it looks too. Uh, you know what, Rocky? You can carry on and wear this. It looks like a Spartan too. I just kind of feel it is a little bit disappointing that it isn't like yellow. Like where the green parts would be yellow would be epic. But uh, on the other hand, I'm so, so happy with the stats. And uh, yeah, I'm, I cannot express how, how lucky I feel right now. So uh, yeah, I just also went on ahead and invited the new recruits into Incognito. So uh, we have them in as well right now. And uh, yeah, coming up next, in the next very next video, uh, I'll be discussing how to join Incognito and what you need to know when joining Incognito. It's not going to be a too long video. But it's sure going to explain how you can apply to uh, Incognito. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to bang give it a thumbs up. This is our reversal bringing you Knights and Dragons videos. Come on, why does it keep cutting me off? It literally like cut me off at the last few words that I wanted to say. Anyways, without any further ado, and me in my mind like thinking that I should definitely replace that free software editing thing. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Until then.